Hey yo, what is up guys? It's King Sean here back with another video. And in today's video, my final mock draft, mock draft 4.0. I was gonna do um five mock drafts, but you know, I think this is gonna be my final mock draft, and I haven't made a video in a while, in a week now, so you know, this is going to be my final mock draft, and this is going to be good, guys. So, it's going to be a trade-up mock draft. So, yeah, I hope you all enjoy. Let's get to it. So, there's been a lot of reports saying Washington wants to trade up for a quarterback. And, you know, that could be true. It could be false, but I'm going to say it, it may be true. So, today, I'm going to be doing a trade-up mock draft, my first ever trade-up mock draft. So, I think this would be cool. All right, so, so right here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give the Lions, I'm going to trade with the Lions, I'm going to give them the 19th pick, the a third round pick, our third round pick from this year, a third round pick from next year, the first round pick from next year, and a fifth round pick from this year for the seventh pick this year and a 2022 fifth rounder. So this is what I'm going to give up, two sec first rounders, two third rounders, and a fifth rounder. And then I'll get back the seventh overall pick and a 2022 fifth rounder. So let's force this trade. It just happened. Let's resume the draft. And boom, right here, we're on the clock. And the best player on the board, we need a quarterback, and Trey Lance is right here. So right here. With the seventh overall pick in the 2021 NFL Draft, the Washington football team selects Trey Lance, quarterback out of North Dakota State. I love Trey Lance. He's my favorite quarterback in this draft. Um, and if if we get him, I'll be doing backflips. So, I mean, I love Trey Lance a lot. He has a great mobility, a great arm. I mean, once he learns under um, Ron Rivera, Scott Turner, and learns behind Brian Fitzpatrick, he will be a great quarterback in the NFL. So if we get him, I'll be super happy. All right, so now we're at pick 51. Pick 51 right here. I think we should either go linebacker or right receiver. Now, Diami, um, Diami Brown is on the board, one of my favorite wide receiver prospects. Um, so right here, I may want to take him, but we also have Jamin Davis who I also really like. So this is going to be hard, but right here, I think I'm going to take Jamin Davis, linebacker out of Kentucky. He's a great linebacker prospect and one of the best linebacker prospects in this draft, definitely. Definitely a top five linebacker prospect in this draft. And if we get him, that would be great. So right here we're at pick 82, we did trade our other third round pick, so yeah. So right here, we need a receiver. And there actually is some pretty good receivers. We've got Josh Palmer, Say Johnson, Jalen Darden, Amon Ross St. Brown, um, Nico Collins. Um, let's see what tight ends are on the board. Honestly. We have Tommy Tremble, Hunter Long, Brevin Jordan. Ooh, I think right here I'm going to take Brevin Jordan. So that's what I'm going to do. So right here with pick 82, I'm going to be taking Brevin Jordan. And he's ranked as 152 um, prospect on PFF, which makes no sense. Because I think he is definitely a top 60 prospect in this draft. So, yeah. So coming up with our fourth round pick. Um, Let's see who's on the board. Let's see. So we have Josh Palmer. We still do need a receiver. I'll probably go receiver with this pick. Um... We got Trey Brown, one of my favorite cornerback prospects in this draft. Say Johnson, Cornell Powell, Amari Rogers. I like Amari Rogers a lot. We have Anthony Schwartz, um, Daz Newsome. There's some good wide right receiver prospects, but right here, I am going to take Amari Rogers, wide receiver out of Clemson. Um, an injury to Justin Ross, you know, caused them to sit out the season. And Amari Rogers started for him um, to replace him. And he was super good. Amari Rogers was super good. Um, and um, if he can, like, um, play on the outside, um, um, opposite of Terry and Curtis Samuel in the slot. Well, Curtis Samuel is an all-around guy. So, you know, he's going to play in the slot outside. He's going to play a little running back, you know. So, we can use Curtis Samuel as a weapon. And then... 
we have Amari Rogers. We can use Amari Rogers on the outside, inside, you know, as a number one receiver too. So, I mean, I like Amari Rogers a lot. And I think he will be a really good fit for this team. All right, now our um, first of the two seventh round picks. I kind of want to look at cornerbacks here, though. Um, Again, we don't have great cornerbacks on the board right here. Um, Let's look at the running back position. Okay, so right here um, at pick 244, I'm going to take running back Jake Funk. Um out of maryland and then right here at, um i'm gonna take antonio phillips cornerback out of ball state so that is the seventh round mock draft my final mock draft guys let me know how y'all feel about it traded up to get trey lance i got jamin davis Reverend jordan amari rogers jake funk and antonio phillips i think this was a great mock draft honestly y'all so let me know how you guys feel about it and other than that, it's me, King Sean, and I'm out. Peace.